Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 2 of my Let's Play Stainless Steel Byzantium campaign. When we left off, yes, Ionis here was about to attack Sophia. So, uh, let's get right God to will it. Be with us, man. Got a ram, three Go ladders, and two siege towers, and we are ready to assault. Got about 1,880 men versus 685. In God's they shouldn't name, be man. too difficult in the battle. Down. They don't really have many uh, heavy troops. They've got some Magyar cap, which would be much more useful on the open field and a lot more of a nuisance. But within the city walls, it shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. I think their Bulgarian brigands are probably the best infantry that they have in this battle. And they shouldn't be much of a match for our Scatatoy. They are swordsmen, but they're much more lightly armored, and we've got quite a few uh, numbers compared to theirs. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and set up deployment really quickly, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, everything is deployed here. Um, I've got the towers over here. I'm hoping I won't even have to use them. Hopefully they don't really deploy on the walls much. Um, you take a lot of casualties in this game from ladders and towers when you're trying to assault, even with superior troops like these, and like I said, they're not really very replaceable at this point, so that is going to be a last resort. Hopefully I'll just be able to push through the center with my spearmen here. I'm going to use my ladder troops to kind of soak up a lot of the casualties since they are easily retrained and cheap. And then uh, we will follow up with heavy infantry and our heavy cav to deliver the killing blow if and when it's necessary. So let's go ahead and get this ram moving. And it looks like they've got some units on the walls here, just some peasants. They've got some levy archers up on the wall. Probably not even going to bother with them, to be honest. Go ahead and move my Conteratoy uh, right up to about here. I've got my Aegontistae pushing the ram. They're not really armored at this point, but they are my most expendable troops I have. So, they can take the initial arrow fire from the enemies. You know, the more troops they put up here, Actually, the better for me. That'll let me really get my troops in here on the ground, and um, I'll probably just push straight onto the town square, and if they don't get off the walls and support me, it'll be pretty easy to just take it from them. It's just, it's just generally much easier to uh, use greater numbers on the ground than on the walls, and since I have them, I might as well not waste lives up on the walls. Alright. We are almost to the gates here. Hopefully this ramp doesn't burn out. I really will have to make this a rather bloody battle, but it should make it there. I really love the uh, all the banners they have for each of the factions in this game. They're not just your little generic faction banners anymore, each, not every unit, but different units have the different banners that go with them and everything, so you can see they're all faction specific here, so we've got a Byzantine here. The battle ram is in place. On our battery not be long before our cool. enemy's defenses fall. And we're losing some a contest like here, but I'm not really worried about that. They're just a step above peasants, really. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. For some reason, we stopped ramming. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Oh, there we go. I wonder if they were trying to open up the gate and that's what was stopping us? I'm not sure. But we are going. And our ram burnt. That is quite unfortunate. Alright. Right here. Hopefully 
both of them can get on there. It looks like they can. Otherwise, one of them would have stopped, most likely. And they just have archers here, so we should be fine taking that on. Over here, they've got some levees. Uh, I've got far superior forces here, but like I said, the defensive bonus they get up here is huge. I might hold off there and just throw them in if necessary, so I'll go ahead and put the ladders up for an assault, but I'm going to hold off on actually ordering it as long as I can. With any luck, it won't even be necessary. We do have these Bulgarian brigands up on the wall who will put them in fight, so... They will probably rush to wherever it's thickest. Um, I don't know why I have my Montisti still sitting up here. We'll go ahead and run them back. <laughs> Anyone who makes it out alive will... We'll give them a little bonus or something. For some reason, half the unit doesn't seem to want to leave. Not really sure what their uh, thought process is there, but that's their choice, I guess. There they go. Tower is just getting to the walls here on the left. And By the grace of God, two I'll see units towers of these heavy the infantry going up, they should tear right to these guys in now. The walls with their ladders. Yeah, I just said that. And we're attacking here as well. These siege towers go so much faster than in our own total war. You literally spend two or three minutes waiting for all your units to get up. It the is tower unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning up. the battle and on? forging a worthy victory. Good. Can you start going up? There we go. Sometimes they need a little reminder, I guess. And yeah, this unit's not going to last. Eh, it's getting slaughtered. This unit's taking a few casualties, but it shouldn't be much different over here. Casualties might be a little worse because it's only one unit and they're coming up a ladder rather than all together on a tower, but they really shouldn't experience much, much resistance from these guys here. Basically just armed with daggers and no shields, so... Well, we are losing a few guys. It looks like probably more from the archer fire than anything else. They brought up their backyard guy to support, which means we really need to take this unit out and open the gates as soon as possible. So I might actually just try to go take this gate here. Perfect, it looks like that unit routed anyways, so... We're taking a few more casualties on the unit than I'd like, but uh... It's getting the trick done. And you guys head this way as well. Give grace to God! We have uh, captured the enemy's walls. All right, we, do we have the gate? We do. Let's get over here. Whoa. Surprise attack. They brought their uh, Magyar cap out to play. Let's see if we cannot catch them by surprise. 
that's definitely something you would never see in a Grand Total War. They should actually be trapped out here because I have the gates. Or not, apparently. They can also use the gate even though I captured them. Interesting. We'll go ahead and stop our heavy cab then. We'll move them up a little bit, but we're not going to charge them in. We will move these guys up to support on foot. As well as our Akrate. Our mounted Akrate and uh, is unwise to not praise be the day before sunset, but our men the are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Any more surprises from this direction? Not that I can see. That's just those brigands there, it looks like. Archers like these Magyars in my territory are not going to put up a whole lot of a fight. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, oh, yeah. no. victory will be ours. <laughs> not what you'd expect from us. We're getting some kills, but there we go. our heavy cav around the back here. So we'll go ahead and run them in this direction. Pretty standard stuff. Move some more of our troops into support. The main effort. All our heavy troops will more just be in the back for morale support. These guys are holding up well enough. About as well as I'd expect. That guy's are pretty awesome here. And while I may like the way the uh, Rome Total War battles play, the medieval two battles, the, uh, the animations are a lot more fun to watch. They're a lot more uh, in depth. And realistic, though of course nowhere up to uh, the newer Total War animations, but looks are definitely not everything. These older games are far superior in just about everything besides looks to the newer games in my opinion, but that's just me. Now these back are just gonna be slaughtered. Once they lost their momentum, it was pretty much over. Still got these Bulgarian brigands on the wall here. A few of them, they're not even all the way on the wall, they're kind of glitched out or something. I'm just gonna ignore them for now. If they come off the wall, they'll have to fight all the way through my troops anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It looks like we just have the, <laughs> the peasants and the Slav levies in the square after these backyards. And one levy archer. All by his lonesome. Is he gonna shoot? Come on. 
There we go. Took his time aiming, it looks like. Aw, oh, that is one large pile of dead horses. That's right, you better keep walking. Let's see how long this guy lives. Praise to our Lord! Our the battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Get everyone lined up here. These guys look pretty awesome, I must say. Get some couple close-ups while they're just sitting up for you guys. I definitely would not want to uh, face them down, that is for damn sure. Still kind of getting to formation, but we'll go ahead and charge here in a second anyways. They probably won't charge with perfect formation in the city regardless, so... Let's see what we can do here. Are they going to lower their lances at all? Oh, there we go, right at the end. And not nearly as effective as it would have been out in the uh, open field, but we should cut through these guys without much resistance. They're probably even worse off against Cap than my... Uh, territory are, so we're pretty close. And we'll go ahead and throw the full weight of my numbers in here now. I am losing a couple troops. Now I believe these guys are replaceable at Constantinople, so I'm not overly worried. And we shouldn't take more than a couple casualties in each unit against these guys. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. But still, I'd like to keep them in pretty good health so that we can use them for quite a few battles before we train them early on. <coughs> Which shouldn't be a problem when fighting just the rebels here. Once we start fighting their factions, such as the Turks, we'll definitely uh, be taking some more casualties in our elite units here. My lord! Our there we go. men are in command of the castle! No, these Bulgarian brigands are still just chilling over here. And it says that my cab can attack them, so I wonder if I can route them. I'll send my cab that way, have my infantry hold the square here. Oh, well. Gives them the option, but they just kind of stand there. Maybe I can go like uh, something. Trick them into attacking. See if that works. 
And if not, we'll just use the uh, the timer here to our advantage. Probably would be the smarter option, but it couldn't hurt getting some more experience for our heavy cap here either. So we'll double time this. <laughs> Nifty little uh, officer uniform there. And here come the cavalry. And here they come. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. This should be pretty one-sided. They're not even spearmen, so they should fare especially poorly. The battle is in our... The enemy there flees we go. We'll go the ahead battle! Just for the Run down those worthless peasants! Looks like we lost about... 5-6 cab in that battle. This is a clear okay. victory that goes to only Mighty men of great virtue guys, and valor. Oh, sweet, they do have their... Uh... Their mace is a secondary weapon, so you get the armor piercing. No casualties healed, but that's alright. Pretty successful first battle there, but that was not really in question. Of course, more casualties came from our Kentaratoi and that one unit of, uh... Scatatoi that took some archer fire in the back. A most honorable victory in my noble ours. God has It is a castle, so I'm not victory. going to exterminate or sack. I'm just going to occupy it. And that's because in this mod, it is rather difficult to get a population up in castles, and you need your highest level castles to make your best units. And it's quite a bit more difficult to expand them than it is the vanilla version of this game. We gain three more territory at our capital. Nothing fantastic, but we will definitely put them in good use. So I'll actually probably send them this way. We'll take some Onward. with the army, and then the others will yes. stay as a garrison. Onward. We and continue like they'll be tomorrow, here in two turns. Lord. We march no further today, Lord. Actually, I'm going to switch that out for a Orthodox Chapel just to get this area converted. Help our priests out here. The frame rate's dropping a little bit again. It was doing pretty well during the battle, it seemed. I didn't notice anything like I'd been experiencing on the campaign map, which... Honestly, I would have thought it would work the other way around, but that's just me. Starting to, starting to be crappy again. <sighs> it seems like I have to kind of start and stop it manually every once in a while, but that's okay. Alright. Sorry. Back to the actual business at hand. We need to build something in Kaffa if we can. I don't think we can, actually. Not until it expands. And then, we'll check our agents. We'll probably get a new mission next turn, hopefully to take Scopia here. That would be the best outcome. It might also send us to Lurazo, but hopefully send us to Scopia first as it's on the way. I'll probably take it next regardless, but it'll just work out better if it sends us there. An order. That's need to move. On my way. We've run into some Venetians here. You have a proposition for our people? Venetian situation is going to be fairly similar to the Turks in that I just need to buy time. Or, you know, have them pay for time, as it were. See if we can get 2,000 out of them. 
This appears Just acceptable perfect. enough to it. Until next time. So now we have one more ally and one more front partially secured. We still have to worry about the Sicilians invading this area over here, but this should protect that front somewhat. We definitely don't need to be fighting both of them at the same time at least. I'd say we'd get revenge on the Venetians, but the Fourth Crusade hasn't happened yet, so we should still be on friendly terms. For the most part. Well met there, brothers. Yeah. There we go. A little laggy. Yes, my lord. Going to send this bishop yes, that direction as well. God's servant. Sorry guys, I forgot to cut off. Right, another bride is being presented. Once again, we will make sure it's not a princess that we can use as an agent. It does not appear to be. And so I see no reason not to accept. I mean, we could theoretically delay marrying our generals in the hopes that a foreign princess comes and asks for an alliance, but... I guess I usually don't, whether I should or not. Never got a Portugal or allies. Doesn't really affect us. Alright. Looks like these three need to build. Next in line for Corinth will go ahead and be a stables because we really don't have much access to good cavalry yet. We, need, we definitely need that. Minus, of course, the Scalarii that we start with. The Salonica, we'll get lane clearance. And we'll do the same with Athens. Get population growing as soon as we can. And it looks like everywhere else is building. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a couple more units here. Trebizond, hopefully we can, uh, get enough to withstand a siege, but if that's the force that's attacking, it's not very likely. Which means that our truce with the, uh, Seljuks may be unfortunately short. We should have a brothel built somewhere around here that we can use to hire another spy. Or maybe they're still being built. Yeah, Smyrna will have one next turn. We'll get another spy sent this way. So we can keep an eye on our Turkish neighbors over here. We really don't need any surprises. I can't afford to lose any settlements over here. How is my finances doing? About a little under 10k. And we've got some rebels. Here we will see you dead, you dead, you hidden. Okay. <laughs> that was definitely the lag kicking in there again. We've got some Scoutatoy swordsmen that we can hear. And probably some other Scoutatoy type units with maybe some decent uh, archers or calves. So that'll be actually a fairly significant battle this fight in small size. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. Jeez, this lag is... Really no small at the moment. Your Majesty. We'll go ahead and move this contingent territory up a little closer. We continue tomorrow, my lord. And honestly, I think besides moving diplomats, there's not a lot left to do for my this lord. turn. On my way. Oh wow, I was lucky. I always hate trying to find stuff in Poland. 
In Hungary, you have those mountains as landmarks, but up here, it's all just kind of yes, stuff. Yes, is there something I can do for you? Just standard operating procedure here. They're poor, so we might go for about 2,500 and see what we can get. We have no and it's accepted. I probably could have asked for a little more accept. looks of it. But it's hard to tell. It's a pretty broad range. I should probably just ask for a little more by default. That is all. But 2,500 florins is 2,500 florins. We'll keep going up this way. Very good, my lord. Diplomat down yes, here can head to the Fatimids. Check on Jerusalem. On my way. Very good. Still in Crusader hands here for the time being. On my way. Usually doesn't last too long, but you never know. Very good, my lord. My lord. Naturally, my lord. Very There's good. Venice. On the my way. But we've already talked to them. Go ahead, move yes. this guy over to Isparta with his Very brother good. in here. How's it doing? It's up to 56, so it's moving. And I love the music that uh, comes with this mod. It's very entertaining. I hope it does not get my videos flagged. Though with the way YouTube is going, I would not be in the least bit surprised. So let's have a turn. Alright, another potential general here. Um. He's loyal, he's got a little bit of command, not much piety, but uh, I think I'll go ahead and accept. He's military minded and we can definitely still use more generals. We oh yeah, perfect Scopia. We don't have enough, nearly enough, to uh, govern all our cities yet, and we can definitely use more field commanders once we get another army up, so. We are First and everything besides finances, and we're actually improving in that regards. For now, we will be spending quite a bit on buildings. More so as we get the uh, cheaper buildings that we need early on taken care of. But to continue the trend, Duraza will build some land clearance. Sophia will also go ahead and. Eh, we we'll do a mustering hall first just to get some very basic garrison uh, troop recruiting possible. Naka will build lane clearance. So will Sperna. And Sparta. We'll go ahead and get a bow gear as we're not really building that anywhere yet. Trebizond actually looks to have dodged a bullet. Those Seljuks appear to be gone. And so as long as they don't return, um, we should hold off Trebizond for a little bit longer. We'll go ahead and build another unit of Acontisti. They're not the most valiant of fighters, but if you can get some good javelin volumes off, they will get some kills for you, and you know what? More bodies are more bodies. They're cheap enough. I think they're only 60 upkeep. Yeah, so you can just spam them out when you can if you need them. Come on, Fraps, don't fight me here. Looks like our diplomat made it to this. My lord. Salt unmolested. And it's giving us 269 florins. Very nice. Somehow he's already an aged merchant. Ready to trade. At the age of 37, which, considering he's already where we want him, isn't the worst thing. He increases his finance with a uh, penalty to his movement. Our other merchant is over here. Yes, my lord. 
Let's keep him moving. Yes, moving. While we're thinking about it. I must rest until tomorrow. I think our diplomat here no, will... No, no. Let's see if the Holy Roman Empire is still in Italy. Very good. Mother. They are. So we will talk to them. What is it you would propose? They actually have no, modest wealth, so we might be able to get a decent chunk of cash out of them. I am going to be uh, very ambitious to go for 5k. I doubt the kind another okay. proposition for the Reich. We'll lower it a little bit here. We'll try 4,000. Might still be a bit high, but we'll go for it. Nine. Okay. This discussion. Goodbye. We will talk to them again next turn. Um. Yeah. No need to explore. Uh, Genoa's right over here. Rome's down this way. I know where they're at. So uh, we'll just leave them there. Now I should be able to get these troops to Sophia. Yes. Onward. So what we will do is I think we will. Noble Lord. Order. Take these guys out. Yes. See if two units will take care of the garrison. March. It will indeed. Bring in our troops together. And I think we'll just go ahead and merge Mandy. these guys. Yes. So let's see if one unit will do it. Will Yes, Lord. Your Majesty. And we'll go ahead and send what's left to that one back, and Mark. once they're able to, we will retrain it. Ooh, and it looks like we can actually recruit Magyar cavalry here already. It's fairly expensive to recruit, only 200 upkeep, and they're they're worth the cost, really. I mean, they don't look fantastic stat-wise, but they've got a pretty good uh. Missile attack here, so... Hell, we'll go ahead and recruit a unit of them. And it'll be five turns before I can recruit another, but that's okay. Noble Lord! And no real good mercenaries available here. So we'll go ahead and head we towards Skopia. We should be able to my besiege Lord. them next turn. Make camp, men. We rest here. And once again, I will just be receiving some military units, so probably nothing fantastic. Good Usually, sense. if it's going to be anything good, it'll say you'll uh, get some of the best military units available, which is always nice. But those are usually pretty damn expensive too. Right. Yes, Let's see if we can not. Uh, Talk with the Fatimans this turn. Oh. Yes, you have a Just proposition for my sultan. And they also have modest wealth. But we'll try 3500 and see if that works. Very well. Very nice. Yes, very that well. did work. Mazalava. Went a little lower than what we tried with the Holy Roman Empire. Probably got a little greedy there, but that's okay. And I don't think I'm going to keep heading this way. I mean, they've got like four cities right here, but that's not really going to be any interest to us quite yet. It'll be a while before we're heading down in that direction again. Naturally, my lord. I think what we'll do is we'll head this way with him and try to find Quarezel. I shall rest here, my lord. And as you can see, the map does go quite a bit further east than the vanilla Medieval 2 map. You have Khwarezm, which is uh, Persia over here, and eventually the Mongols will invade, and then you have the Cumans all up here in the uh, southern Russian, Central Asian steppe area. And you have two Russian factions actually, the Duchy of Kiev and Novgorod up in the north. So, the, the east is definitely a little bit more lively of a place in this game. But, you know, I think that's a good place to end the turn, and I'll go ahead and end the video here as well. 
I don't want to get overly long. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're still enjoying this. And I will see you guys next episode. Later.